Hello, welcome everybody to another Facebook Friday, right? It's another Frilici Friday. It's not very pretty outside though. I do have to say that it's kind of one of those dreary, cold, like we had a couple of awesome spring days and now it doesn't feel so springy, but that's all right. We've got lots of fun, springy, beautiful things to play with inside right here today. So no worries about what's going on outside. There's so much good stuff to share with you guys. I'm super excited. My table is full as always. Um, so I'm gonna just like jump right in and get started by showing you, okay, we have this, uh, oh, it's right here. I'm like, where did it go? I thought I, yeah, okay. So yeah, we have, this is a stamp set we're gonna play with today. It's called the Bragg Worthy Stamp Set. Super fun sentiments in this stamp set. Um, Bragg Worthy, it's like hilarious, okay? So the first one, I have to look at these this way because I can't read them backwards. Um, it says, look at you doing grown up things and stuff. So that's kind of a fun little one, right? And then we've got this one that has the five stars and then it says, would recommend you as a friend. I think that's kind of fun, right? Your friendship is as brag worthy as a dress with pockets, no kidding, right? I'm seriously, or I'm here for you, seriously, try to get rid of me, just try. And that's kind of the fun one with that fun font right there with the seriously. Uh, one minute you're young and cool and the next you're getting excited over new towels. Happy birthday. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Love new towels, right? And then let's see, what's the last one? Thanks for being, being the person I overthink things with. So awesome, fun sentiments in this stamp set. We're going to have a great time today playing with this. I actually pulled out some um, of our designer series paper, my favorite papers from the annual catalog that of course are going to be retiring. You guys know this, right? <clears throat> so we're going to play with the um, peach, Sweet as a Peach designer series paper and the Pansy Patch designer series paper also along with that brag worthy stamp set. Hello Deb, how are you? Thanks for hanging out with us today. Um, so yeah, we're gonna have lots of fun stamping. Um, like I said, I will mention right now since I already kind of mentioned it, that um, retiring lists should be coming out next week. So keep an eye out for those. I will post, give you information as soon as I have it on what is retiring from our annual catalog. Thank you for sharing Deb. And I know I was just mentioning that, that it's really not very um, pleasant today. Not like it has been the past couple of days. So it, spring is coming now. We just know it, right? Um, so yeah, uh, retiring lists coming out. Um, and where's my, here we go right here. The in colors too. I mentioned this last time on Facebook Live, but I want to do another mention of this, that these five in colors will be retiring <clears throat> with, um, hello, Teresa with the annual catalog when it retires. So honestly, if you need anything in any of these colors, I would order it ASAP because once the retiring lists come out, especially the cardstock, the cardstock is going to sell super fast. Um, ink refills, that's another one to think about. If you have the ink pad and you don't have an ink refill, go ahead and get those. If you want more um, embellishments, um, markers, I don't think we have ribbon. There is some ribbon though, not um, not the one, um, the cotton ribbon, which I still love that we don't have that any longer. Um, but yeah, anything in these five ink colors is gonna be gone soon. So Misty Moonlight, um, Cinnamon Cider, Just Jade, Magenta Mandis, and Bumblebee. So make sure you get these things. Do it now while you can before they start selling out, okay? But everything um, that retires will be available. I'm sure it's all gonna be while supplies last and then the catalog ends, I think it's May 2nd. So that sounds like we've got a lot of time, but you know, time flies when we're having fun, right? So just keep that in mind. The other thing that maybe you want to be ordering um, in addition to your in color products is something off of the Savings Are In Bloom promotion. So if you guys haven't heard about this, make sure that you know about it. The mini cut and emboss machine is on sale 20% off. It's normally $60, it's only $48 right now. So this cute little mini cut and emboss machine, love that little guy. And then they have, of, what did I figure? One, two, three, four. There are 13 different bundles that are on sale. Now you guys know bundles, normally Stampin' Up! gives us a 10% discount when you buy the stamp set and the dies together. Well, during this promotion, they picked 13 bundles that are actually 20% off. So they're giving an additional 10% off of the bundle price. Some of them aren't even bundles in the catalog any longer. You can buy a stamp set and dies separately, but they brought the bundle back and then they've given us 20% off. So I'm gonna just give you the names of them and 
I, I'm going to show you the flyer. I didn't, because I, I don't even have all of these, um, but I am going to try to show you. So the All Squared Away bundle is one that's 20% off, so that cute stamp set and dies. And then <clears throat> we'll try to go through with these. So we've got the Art Gallery bundle, uh, <laughs> Beauty of Friendship. I cannot read that. Um, Celebrate Sunflowers, which you guys are going to see those backwards too. Um, Garden Wishes bundle, Hydrangea Haven bundle, and whoa my eyes are getting bad the pansy patch bundle is this one right here then we have the quiet meadow bundle the seascape bundle and the sweet as a peach bundle that's fun so those are two that we're going to be using the designer series paper that coordinates with those today the welcoming windows bundle the what's cooking bundle and the wildcats bundle so i'm going to kind of Hold this up. I'm gonna see if you guys can see a little bit better. So that's the first row. There's the second row. There's the third row and the fourth row. Again, all of these bundles are 20% off. And you guys, I don't know, just make sure in terms of online ordering, if you go to stampinup.com, click on the shop button across the top, and then there's a little looking glass. That's the easiest way to find things because they, they, unless you know, well, if you don't know the name of something, I guess, then you might have to shop by the groupings. But once you, well, once you know the name of it, say you want the art gallery bundle, just click on the looking glass and type in art gallery. And this bundle will pop up. I'm sure the stamp set will pop up. I'm sure the dies will pop up. So if you want one or those separately, fine. But if you want to get 20% off, um, get grab that bundle too, okay? So keep that in mind. That is through the end of the month, which is coming up soon also. We're already on March 18th. Hopefully everybody had a great St. Patrick's Day yesterday. Did y'all wear your green? Um, I did not. Actually, I kind of blanked out on that, I guess, now that I think about it. Um, but you know, anyway, so hopefully you had a good St. Patrick's Day though. That's always a fun holiday, right? Okay, let me check my notes. Okay, we talked about that promotion. We talked about the retiring stuff. Oh, okay. So I want to share with you guys, because um, I can't remember if I mentioned it last time or not, but I have a number of extra celebration items. So I thought, okay, I do this pretty regularly. I am continuing celebration here in Alma. So if you order through me, uh, online is fine. You won't be able to pick your celebration item, obviously, because Stampin' Up's not offering and shipping those any longer. But any way that you order $50 through me right now, you can pick a free celebration item while supplies last. So let me grab my little stack of them here and I'll show you guys because I have a few of them and it's like first come, first serve. Whoever says, you know, once they put an order and, hey, I want that, then... Then, then, then it's yours, and if it's gone, then you gotta pick something else. So I have um, the Daffodil Afternoon Designer Series Paper is still available. I have the Awesome Otter Stamp Set, uh, the Friendly Hello Stamp Set, and I'm gonna do this one free with a $50 order because the Designer Series Paper, I don't have any longer, okay? Uh, special Moments Stamp Set, I have a couple of these. This is free with a $100 order. So if you loved all those sentiments and didn't get it, you still can if you would like. Um, the Driving By Stamp Set, um, that's another, and then the Catching Butterflies stamp set. So I have a couple of those I have duplicates of. Then I have a couple packages of the Simply Marvelous Designer Series paper and a couple packages of the Sunshine and Rainbows Designer Series paper. So if there was something that you wanted during celebration and did not get, you can still get them. So just let me know. All you have to do is once you put an online order in, um, or if you're at classes, I have these things right at classes. Um, but just let me know what you'd like, and I'll let you know if it's available. If it's not, we'll just have to pick something else. The shipping does um, apply to these, though. So to get it shipped to you, you do have to pay for shipping, but that's no real big deal, right? Okay, so get that stuff out of the way. I'm trying to like keep my space clear. How's everybody doing? Are you guys all having a good a good week. Are you guys basketball fans too? Did you watch any basketball last night or yesterday all day? Or it's probably like, it's probably starting right about now, isn't it? So hello, Philomena. How are you? Thanks for joining us. Yeah, this is like the best weekend ever. If you love basketball, there's so much good stuff. So many fun things to watch. Um, okay, so we did our celebration celebration last Saturday. Thank you for sharing too, Philomena. Um, so we had just a fun event. Anybody that qualified for that event that was able to come, they did come. If you didn't come, your packages were mailed. Hopefully you ha you might have them today. Um, if not, the beginning of next week, you will have them. So hopefully I'm not doing, I'm not spoiling too much here by sharing these things with you guys. But I wanted to show what we made um, at the celebration celebration. So I gave everybody actually a little, um, 
in our ombre um, gift bags in our new in colors. So they're super cute little gift bag. I don't have any extra of those already made up. I wish I had an extra one, but we did some fun um, like floral stamping on the outside of the bag. And then inside, hi, Amy, what are you saying? Sneaking at work to watch you. Yeah, shh. That was everybody yesterday watching basketball too, Amy. I think this is like the time of year when everyone's doing that. Oh good, you did get yours. Awesome, Teresa. Okay, good, I'm glad. Okay, so hopefully that's kind of, cause you're out in New Jersey, so from Michigan to New Jersey. Okay, so maybe everybody will get them today then. That would be awesome. Yeah, okay, so there's a fun little package in there and I put um, like a sample of that abstract beauty designer series paper that we used on our make and takes or on, on the cards I demonstrated last Facebook Live. So I gave everybody a sample of that and then everybody got a half a pack of the opal rounds too in that little bag so that was one of the little gifts and then let me show you the make and takes so then we did a card featuring the waves of the ocean suite so this is some of the designer series paper cut into four little squares and then that awesome wave from the waves dies and then a great sentiment um, that says you're so totally awesome and then we use some of the new wave basic rhinestone jewels these are gorgeous i'm going to show you guys those in a sec too so <laughs> yes you're welcome for the um small share of dsp miss deb um yeah that was it was great to see you too so thank you and thank you philomena um yeah so this was one of the cards that we made or that i made and mailed out to everybody and then this other one features the Cactus Cuties bundle. And this, both of these actually I did not design. Um, and this one I totally forgot to write, write down. I saw it on Pinterest. I'm sure if you go to Pinterest, you'll be able to pull up. Um, if you type in Cactus Cuties, you'll see this card right on there. So I apologize that I forgot to write down who I cased that from, but came right off of Pinterest. Um, but yeah, so we used the fun little stamp and punch right there. And then this says, just a note. And then this is some of the Just Jade and gold ribbon. Um, this is ribbon that will definitely be retiring because this is um, Just Jade ribbon on Just Jade cardstock that will also be retiring. So they made both of those make and takes. And then I made another cute little, <laughs> this is a fun little bunny, like a little Easter treat. So this one I totally cased also from Angie Judah at Chicken Scratch. She has so many cute, fun projects. Um, she always does lots of cute 3D things. So whenever I need like a little 3D project, I always jump over and check her projects out because she always has cute things on there. So <laughs> good job. I'm glad you enjoyed those make and takes. Thank you very much. So yeah, and then I put a little Reese's like, um, Reese's cup kind of thing inside there, but you can see. So if you want to know how to make this, just go to, it's C-H-I-C-N-S-C-R-A-T-C-H, or you can um, Google Angie Juda, J-U-D-A, um, and you'll find her. She's awesome, great, wonderful lady, and just makes these super cute, fun projects. So we made um, these little treats as well with the little bunny tail on it. If you guys can see, I think this is so cute because this is actually the um, ladybug punch, and then we just cut off the antennas. And then um, this right here is part of the medium daisy punch. So you punch a whole daisy and then I think you get like six or eight of the little bunny ears when you kind of cut them out. So super cute, simple, fun little treats. So that was my little thank you to everyone for, uh, for some, or, um, um, supporting me is what I'm trying to say during celebration. So hello, Lori, how are you? Thanks for joining us today. So yeah, fun, we had just a great time. I love doing that. I love saying thank you, especially with cute treats, right? It's so easy to do that. Make cute things and say thank you so much. Um, so yeah, we had a great time last Saturday that was. So um, then speaking of more fun things on Saturdays, we have our one day crafting retreat coming up. And again, that's really not too far away. It's on Saturday, May 7th, 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. right here in town in Alma at the Peace Lutheran Church. You get so much good stuff uh in this whole event right so i feed you i give you little treats kind of like that little bunny treat i always like to make little what we call like table treats put them out on the table for you throughout the day um, i bring all of my stampin up supplies so all of my my die cutting and embossing machines all my dies and embossing folders my punches my stamp sets you can use all of that all day long i forget to even mention that now that i think about it so it's a great way to come and like play with my stuff make whatever you want 
during the day and kind of check everything out. Um, so I would encourage you to come hang out with us. You also get a goodie bag valued at over $30. And then we actually have make and takes uh, projects that you'll make using some of the items in your goodie bag. So you get to see like fun product and then how you can actually use that fun product um, in projects and that you would like to make as well. So 9 a.m. to 9 p.m., $64 for the entire day, it includes the goodie bag. I feed you all day long. We just have a great group of ladies that all kind of just hang out and share and enjoy each other's company and just make whatever you would like to make. Um, you receive a free gift from me if you sign up and prepay by April 1st, which is like right around the corner, ladies, so keep that in mind. And then final RSVPs are due on Monday, April 25th. So I would love to fill up this church, Peace Lutheran Church, um, right out on Warwick Drive here in Alma, right near the hospital. Um, so yeah, we've got lots of room. We can accommodate lots of people. I'd love for as many of you that would like to come join us and make fun projects all day long. Come do that. Come hang out with us. We'd love to have you join us, okay? Um, okay, let me see. I'm like talking a mile a minute because I always have so many things. But I think, okay, let's do our first drawing for the brushed brass butterflies. Don't try to say that fast, ladies, because you cannot. You will definitely fumble over the words. The brushed brass butterflies. Okay, so this is what we're going to give away today. I love these butterflies, too. So we've got some kind of small brass butterflies and then the larger brass butterflies. So your name is in the drawing right here. If you signed up for my email list, if you have not done that yet, hop on over and do that. In um, I always like do this. because So above this Facebook Live video, after I repost it to our Facebook group here, I'll include all kinds of details for everything that I've talked about today. One of those is the link to sign up for my email list. So go ahead and do that. Your name will be in the next Facebook Live drawing. And then as well, share, share, share this video. Thank you. I always, I just can't tell you how much I appreciate you guys sharing the video and helping me find new friends that want to come watch and hang out and stamp with us. Okay, so your names are in here too if you shared the video. So just keep that in mind for this video right here. Share away as many times as you would like. Your name is in here in the drawing from our last Facebook Live video. Okay, gotta toss them all around. I know the butterflies are beautiful, aren't they? Miss Becky White. All right, congratulations, Miss Becky. She's a faithful sharer of the video. So thank you, Becky. I appreciate your sharing. And I will get those butterflies sent right out to you, okay? All right. <clears throat> oh, I'm about to tickle in my throat. So next, we will, hold on, I gotta grab a sip of water. Mm. Dad, thank you for sharing too. <laughs> You're so sweet, Philomena. Congratulations, Becky. Okay, so on our next Facebook Live, we are going to give away the classic matte dots. So these are um, a great kind of simple, we've got colors. What do we have? Basic white, very vanilla, a basic gray, and a basic black. So just some fun little dots that you can just add to lots of different projects, right? So this is what we'll give away on our next Facebook Live, the classic matte dots, again, for sharing the video and signing up for my email list, okay? All right, scoot those out of the way. <clears throat> Now I want to give a warm welcome to our newest Inkspired Stamper, a good friend of mine, Miss Lisa Berge, just bought the starter kit. This is a friend from work that I've worked with for forever and didn't realize that she didn't know I was still even doing this. Like, um, basically I gave her a little calendar, um, a calendar that I sent out to everybody on my team, actually. I had an extra one and I was like, oh, her desk could use a cute little something, right? Or I was just trying to think of someone that might um, appreciate the calendar, right? So I gave it to her just recently, even though like I made those calendars months ago, right? Um, I've been meaning to, and it was one of those, like I would just forget to bring it into work. So I gave it to her and of course she fell in love with it. And she was like, are you still doing that? And, and that was the funniest thing for me was like, Bonk, are you still doing that? Like, yes, obviously it's like this whole life of mine outside of my other jobs. So it was a kind of a reminder of like, you're probably not sharing what you're doing outside of your crafting world with many people these days. So note to self, maybe you should start sharing a little bit more and you never know who um, you might run into that needs something like this in their lives also. So Lisa already bought the starter kit. She's already put her first order in. She is ready to dive right in and have some fun. So congratulations, Lisa, and welcome to the Inkspired Stampers group. 
We are happy to have you as a part of our group and we're excited to help get you started and play and have lots and lots of fun. So yay, that's awesome. In the meantime, I have to show you guys, what do I wanna show you first? Uh, a couple of swaps from <laughs> Philomena, you're so sweet. Um, swap cards that um, we received at our Inkspired Snappers meeting earlier. This week's, we had our meeting on Tuesday and Miss Sharon Greening made this fun card. It's like a great feature of designer series paper. And it says, have a perfect birthday. And then check this out. It's like a little mini fold with the designer series paper. And then on the inside, it says, may your greatest wish come true. So isn't that so cute? I loved that enough so that you're going to probably um, see how familiar this card layout is in our uh, cards that we're going to demonstrate in just a little while. So that was from Miss Sharon, Sharon Greening, and then this one Jenny Bothman made, and I loved this one as well. Um, so this one is just a fun, so it says, happy birthday. Hello, Tracy. It's got those um, beautiful brushed brass butterflies on it, and then you flip it up. So it's a simple, another fun fold, a simple fun fold. Morning. How are you, Miss Tracy? On the inside, it says, may the simple joys of life fill this special day and be yours throughout the coming year. So isn't that, that's a beautiful sentiment, right? So another great card that again, you might see this card layout again very shortly. I'm gonna just scoot that right over there. So great um, swaps that we received this month. We also, oh, I always love to congratulate um, anyone that makes it into what I call the $600 club, meaning they had more than $600 in sales in a month. So this month, I congratulated everyone that was in the $600 club with a bolt of, this is the um, Soft Succulent Satin Ribbon. It's a beautiful ribbon, part of one of the suites in the mini catalog that I'm totally drawing a blank on right now, but beautiful ribbon that everyone received. I love to congratulate people that make it into the $600 club because it means they also are receiving an additional commission or volume rebate. It's called, hey, Wendy, how are you? Thanks for joining us today. Um, yeah, so they made it into the $600 club, got the ribbon, and then they also got an extra commission off of all of their orders because they had at least $600 in sales for the month. So it's a great way to kind of highlight if you do this, Stampin' Up's gonna give you like cash money in your bank account. And then I also wanna say thank you and congratulations as well and send you a fun little um, embellishment or treat or something too. So love to do that every month for anybody that makes it into the $600 club on my team, on our Inspired Stampers team. And then as well, we had Make and Takes, which you're gonna, this is kind of fun. Um, featuring the waves of the ocean. Nikki, hello, how are you? Thanks for hanging out with us today. Okay, so yeah, waves of the ocean, and I'm gonna, let me show you the cards, and then I'll, I'll show you more of the product. So this is part of a meeting planner program that I am participating in. So every month I get basically get um, kind of a meeting planner that kind of gives me some ideas of things to talk about at our meeting. And then it also gives me awesome make and takes. So I can't take credit for these. Rhonda Wade um, designs or she has her team um, help her design these cards, but these were beautiful. Made me fall in love too with that Waves of the Ocean Suite. Cause it was one of those that I was like, oh, I don't know. You know, a lot of times I'm like, eh, I don't know. Do I need that or not? And then of course you see cute stuff and you play with it and you're like, of course I needed that. So let me show you these. So this was the first one and I love, this is more um, just jade ribbon that I'll be retiring to. We used some of the designer series paper and just kind of ripped it in half. So it kind of looks like, um, you know, frothy waves on the ocean. And then we had the sentiment, you're so totally awesome on that one. Then we had another, this is just, this is a super symbol um, with the huge wave and the um, seagulls. Again, you're so totally awesome. And then we use, I don't know if you can see if I get in the right light. I don't, I don't feel like you can see those at all actually. Um, but there are a couple of jewels right on there too. So the sparkly waves right there. Then we've got another, this is a beautiful happy birthday. Again, featuring more of the designer series paper with the little posts and the, what is that? I don't know. Is that a is it a flamingo? I don't know. You guys, I'm not very good with the birds. But anyway, it's beautiful, right? And then some more ribbon. This ribbon is part of that um, trio pack of ribbon. So we've got, um, what is that? White white ribbon, that white, uh, white linen ribbon. And then um, 
that little, the Just Shape Gingham ribbon, and then there's the Misty Moonlight and White, the little twine. So those three. Pelican, thank you. <laughs> Nikki, perfect timing. Pelican, yes, that's it. I like that. Yeah, we'll call it a pelican. Thank you. Philomena's on top of it too. Yes, that's a pelican, ladies. Thank you. Yeah, so, but isn't that, I just love um, that designer series paper. And that's the thing that, like, I looked at the paper and I, because I bought it and I opened it up and, hey, Diana, and I was like, I'm not sure what to think of this. Like, I kind of didn't know what to do with it. And then I got all these projects and I'm like, oh, now I see what we do with this paper. This one's gonna look very familiar. I loved this one. So we did it at our meeting, Make and Takes, and then we also made um, that very similar version right here. Um, just a little tiny bit different with some with the sentiment popped up on um, dimensionals and a different sentiment. This one says, your th strength is an inspiration, which I think is perfect with this card, um, with that huge wave, I just love. And then here, now you guys can see the jewels. I think I used maybe three or four different colors of those um, waves, basic rhinestone jewels on there too. So awesome set of make and takes featuring that waves of the ocean, sweet. All right, I'm scooting that stuff out of the way, but I wanna make sure, okay, so that's the stamp set, the Waves of the Ocean stamp set, or Waves of Inspiration, if you haven't seen it yet. So we used pretty much everything. I think the only thing we didn't use was this top one right here that says, our friendship is a thing of beauty, which that's kind of a beautiful sentiment too, right? Then the dies, which are kind of a mess. Um, maybe I'll pull, yeah, they're just kind of a mess, but I don't have it on a, um, What's that called? Like on a magnetic sheet yet, but they, they gave you a couple. That's gonna go like that, right? Yes, it kind of scared me. Yes, you're right. That is kind of what happened with me too. <laughs> Hi, Lisa. Yes, better late than never. Absolutely. You can always catch up later too. No problem at all. But they've also got, I'm gonna kind of use this thing to point. They've got those two labels on there too. So they've got these waves. They've got some clouds. They've got the pelican on the post. They've got some... Um, seagulls, and then they've got those two great labels too. So a great, like versatile, again, I always love labels and they've got stitching and little cutouts and things. So super duper cute. <coughs> and then, all right, let me show you. Okay, since Nikki mentioned that designer series paper, I'm gonna show you guys that. So this is what I have left, so it's not everything, um, but it'll kind of give you an idea, yeah bold like she said it's a bold so this is the paper that was used where did my make and takes go now so you can see how a little bit goes a long way but isn't that perfect like on there it's beautiful now right so that's one of them here's the other side whoa right but we i've used that too and it's gorgeous um Actually, this one is the one that we used on that other card because it's got the yellows in there too because then there's the back side. That's the one that we used on the little squares too. Um, let's see, this one I don't think we've seen yet. How about that, right? So kind of crazy, but in small doses, it worked really, really well. It looks like, and actually, I feel like, hey, Amy Jo, how are you? Sharon um, at our team meeting was mentioning how did they make this paper? I didn't watch, there's a video though that you could go check out. Um, I think she said it's almost like paint, like they poured it in and kind of swirled it around and took pictures of it and then made the paper out of it. So it's beautiful, right? Listen, it's just, it's very interesting. Um, I don't think I've, I showed you, I don't think I've showed you guys that one yet. So there's that side. And then there's that side. So that's just beautiful, beautiful prints. But yeah, pretty bold. It took me a moment. This is another, mm, no, that's the same one. Okay, maybe that's all of them, but you get the idea. They're all kind of like that. They're all like swirly paint samples that they turned into designer series paper, basically. Yep, I think we looked at it. Well, maybe we did. This one's the same, right? I don't know. They start to all look a little bit similar, but they're all different too. This one's more yellows. Yeah, so yeah, beautiful paper, right? The other thing you guys probably really can't live without is, let me show you this, the um, foil sheets. So what are they called? Blue foils, blue foil sheets, okay? And the flyer and probably online are not gonna do these colors justice. Woo, can you, oh gosh, you guys can like see. <laughs> you can see everything. Okay, I don't wanna, that's like a mirror. Oh my gosh, okay, so see. <laughs> Yeah, so we've got, this is kind of like a turquoise. Can, that's really crazy how you can see that. <laughs> I'm like, whoa, boy. Um, then here is my silver. 
that one doesn't mirror quite so well, right? That's probably good. And then this is maybe like a Knight of Navy, I feel like, something like that. So yeah, beautiful paper, isn't that? It's just gorgeous. Cannot wait to play with that paper. And then my other most favorite, where are they? The jewels, the rhinestone waves, basic jewels. And I've already used some of them, but this is what I have left on here. But you can see the blues, the shades of blues to greens. <coughs> um, excuse me beautiful uh, what i will tell you too is these rhinestones the blue foil and the designer series paper are all only available while supplies last so they started where's my flyer yeah <coughs> available from march 1 until may 2nd or if they sell out then they sell out so keep that in mind the stamp set and the dies are gonna carry over to the new annual catalog. But the designer series paper, the blue foil, and the rhinestones are all like just limited time only. So get your rhinestones, buy as many packs of these as you can before they go. They are beautiful, love those rhinestones. <coughs> okay, today's gonna to be the day where I need a mint, I think. Sorry, grab my water there. Okay, um, I think, are we doing all right here? About that talked about that okay i think we're ready to do our next drawing ladies yeah i think we're ready to go okay so next drawing is for the tulip fields stamp set so beautiful stamp set here great dies too we played with this stamp set and the dies at our class on friday um lots of intricate details so you're not going to maybe make a million of these things but the um the windmills are just gorgeous so they're definitely worth the effort i think so stamp set given away, um, if you put an online order of at least $30 in, you automatically are gonna get both of these cards that I demonstrated on our last Facebook Live that featured that Abstract Beauty Designer Series paper. Right, so you're gonna get these cards as a thank you. Your name is right now in the drawing for the Tulip Field stamp set. If you bumped your order up to $50, you got to pick from the March Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial, which actually features, the theme was kids and baby birthday cards. Um, so let me just show you step-by-step -step instructions for 16 cards, full color, lots and lots of details, everything you need to know to make those projects. You can pick from that with your $50 order, or the free embellishment this month is also the Waves Basic Redstone Jewels. Plus, you get to pick a free celebration item too if your order is over $50. So, so much good stuff for putting an online order in through me, which I truly appreciate your orders. So thank you. Okay, so here we have names in the drawing for the Tulip Fields stamp set. Okay, I'll shake these around. All right. One lucky winner is Miss Kathy Hilliard. All right, congratulations, Kathy. You are the proud new owner of the Tulip Field stamp set. So thank you so much for your order. All right, I will get that sent out to you, Miss Kathy. Now, one more quick thing to tell you guys about before we flip the camera down. Uh, next Facebook Live, if you put an online order in through me, you're gonna get the projects we're gonna get to demonstrate in just a moment, and you're also gonna get your name in the drawing for the Back on Your Feet stamp set. Such a cute stamp set, right? So many great little um, images there, and then fun sentiments like, sometimes that's all there is to say, and that I'm here for you. Oh, maybe it's like sigh or ouch, it's probably, right? You might say sigh. Oh, sometimes that's all there is to say and that I'm here for you, right? That's probably, that'd go well with that little guy right there, right? Um, hope you're back on your feet soon. Haha, <laughs> that one would go well with the little turtle, right? Hope things get better soon. And then look at the <laughs> the giraffe with the um, snake like around it around its necks. Um, this is not good. Oh, that's cute, right? This is not good. You can put that. Oh, so cute. I don't think I really associated those things so well either. So yeah, super cute stamp set. Name of the drawing. Use the host code that is again in the details above this YouTube video after I get it uploaded to or Facebook this Facebook Live video. Um, yeah. Okay. So here we go. Oh, you can also always find the um, host code on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com. Okay, so we are going to flip the camera down and have some fun stamping. Okay, are you guys ready? I think I'm ready, <laughs> hopefully. Okay, turn your heads away for a sec. We're flying through the air and we will get this set up to continue our stamping. Okay, is that gonna stay? 
I hope so. Okay, there we go. Let's see if I can, oops, that's too much. I'm trying to get it situated. Okay, so this is the host code that you're going to want to use this month. The MQP TV PRB is our March host code. So use that host code to get your name in the drawing and get all the freebies and good stuff. Okay, um, I want to do one more quick reminder and then I promise we are getting to our stamping. But I just wanted to kind of remind everybody about the Cactus Cuties class to go. Such a cute set of stamps and then the punch, right? Um, oh, my little note about talk about talk about joining the class to go club, Amy. So I have little notes to myself all over the place, and I because I can't remember much these days. So yeah, I will mention that right now too. If you love these class to go kits, if you've gotten one here and there, and you think, oh, I would love to do that every month, I would love to have you join us in the class to go club. Basically, it just means you want to get one of these kits shipped to you every single month. It's a 12 month club. You pick either option number one or option number two. If there's ever a month that you're like, oh, I just really don't want that um, to go class, just tell me that and we'll um, skip that month and just add another month on to the end of your club membership. That's always an option. I don't ever want you to feel like you're totally forced to get something that you just don't have an interest in, right? But I try to always pick cute stuff, right? So super fun stamp set, fun punch. These are the four cards in this month's class to go. We've got, oops, there we go. There's a hello, just a note. I love the ribbon too, right? The hope your day is on point and another just a note with that evening evergreen window pane check ribbon. So we have a few different options. We've got option number one, stamp set, punch, you get the ribbon, you get the designer series paper, which is the retiring designer series paper, and you get the polished dots in option number one. You actually get the ribbon for free. Um, what is option number one? It's $70. Option number two is if you already have the stamp and the punch, you need those to do your stamping and punching, so make sure you have them. But you get the DSP, you get the ribbon, and you get the dots. Option number two is $42. Um, you also get the PDF tutorial that tells you step-by-step -step how to put everything together. If you need them shipped to you and it's additional $9 shipping. Um, option number three is just the PDF tutorial that tells you how to make all of these cards. That option is $15, always available, even after the RSVP deadline passes, free to anyone in my Inkspired Stampers group, so know that. And then option number four is also for my team. Any of my Inkspired Stampers can get the make and takes two of each of these cards for just $12. All right, I think that's it. Oh, RSVPs are actually due next Friday, March 25th, and the kits will ship out, what do I say, no later than April 6th. So let me know. This is such a, like seriously, these are so fun and so cute. Love the bright colors. <coughs> you will brighten anyone's day and that you send one of those cards to, I truly believe. Okay, <coughs> now I think I really do need a minute. <coughs> okay, I'm gonna grab that one moment, ladies. track. We are going to do our stamping now. Mm. Okay, so as I mentioned, you are probably going to remember this card I just showed you. Right, let's see. Are we in view? I think we're in view. Okay, so remember, this was a card that I just shared with you that Sharon um, made for our team meeting. And I decided I loved it so much that we were going to do another one, our own version of Sharon's little flippy dippy card there, right? With the designer series paper. Hi, Deanna. How are you? Thanks for joining us. So this is that pansy patch designer series paper, that beautiful love. Such so cute, too, that paper. We'll be retiring, though, the pansy patch paper. Did I bring that? I think I did. Let's see, I think I have like a little six by six. Mm, nope, not of all of it. Okay, never mind on that. Here's the pansy patch paper. So if you have forgotten what it looks like, 
it's this beautiful, just springy, bright, beautiful paper. And then cute, super cute with the gingham, right? Very springy. Okay, those are all of the pieces of designer series paper. So if you love the Pansy Patch designer series paper, make sure you order that while you can, okay, ladies? All right, so let's do, let's make our project now, okay? All right, let me get everything out here. Okay, I think I have what I need. Okay, I'm gonna give you measurements and I've already like, this is already askew, isn't it? Okay. Ah, uh -huh, you were just using that paper last night. Isn't that funny, Wendy? Because it came out so, like, a while ago, right? And we all loved it so much, like, last spring and summer. And then I looked at it the other day, and I was like, oh, I haven't played with this in a while. So I thought maybe you guys were all feeling that same way. And because it's going to be leaving us soon, I was like, i got to show you guys one more time in case you missed it last spring, too. Okay, so we have the, this is um, totally drawing a blank. Um... Um, pale papaya. This is pale papaya cardstock. So this is our card base. Isn't that so funny? I feel like, I think my camera is just, it is askew, but we've got four and a quarter by five and a half. So this is a quarter of a sheet of the pale papaya designer or um, cardstock. You can kind of see that. So this was eight and a half by 11. We cut it at five and a half and then we cut it at four and a quarter. Okay. Hi, Cindy. How are you? Thanks for joining us today. Okay. So that's kind of our card base is just that one piece, just that one piece of pale papaya cardstock. Then we have, actually, let's do this one. This piece of designer series paper is just going to lay, oops, right on top there. Okay. This one measures four inches by five and a quarter inches, okay? So we've got that one right there. Then we've got another piece of pale papaya that's gonna go right on there. This one measures three and one quarter by four and one quarter, right on there. And then our other piece of designer series paper measures three inches by 12 inches, and we scored it at four inches and eight inches, okay? And then I have just some scrap pieces to do our die cutting and stamping and so on of basic white and fresh freesia cardstock, okay? So let's do our stamping and die cutting and then we'll put things together, okay? So first of all, we've got our the fun, one minute you're young and cool and the next you're getting excited over new towels. Happy birthday, <laughs> okay? We're gonna use our Calypso Core ink okay now for stamping new stampers make sure you know nice easy tap 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 you don't need there's no full body weight stamping definitely not needed okay nice easy tap 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 because you don't need to get ink all around your clear block right there's no reason to do that we don't need ink everywhere we only need it on our stamp. I'm pressing firmly because this one, there we go. Yeah, actually that looks really good. I was having a little bit of a hard time, but I think it was because my ink pad um, wasn't re-inked enough. So I think that looks much better than my, my original card that I made the other day because I added some ink to my ink pad. Okay, so we've done that. I don't think I stamped anything. Yeah, I just put another cute little guy on the inside there too. So we're going to do that. Okay, so we are going to die cut. We're going to use the this is this one, the Stitched So Sweetly dies, the third largest die. We're going to cut that out, and then we're going to do another one. Hopefully I gave myself enough room there. And then I just needed to have a little bit of um, texture on the card. So let's see. Come on, little buddies. These are the Flowers of Home dies. So these little guys, we're going to use these two here. And you can see all, I've used these quite a bit because I love just those little spriggy things right there. I love kind of adding that little bit of texture and dimension. So we're gonna use those. The one thing I will tell you guys too is, cause I've had people and I realized maybe I'm not being very clear. I um, put all of the details for everything that we're making here on my blog at Gathering Ink with a K. So gatheringinspiration.com. So I will give you the colors, the dimensions, step-by-step, step, everything you need to know how to make this card and how to purchase things to be able to make the card. Um, definitely, that's how... Um, you know, I kind of keep going too, is your online order. So I love, if you love this card, make sure you order the designer series paper, make sure you order these um, dies, the stamp set, the ribbon, anything that you need. I give you everything, item codes, names of everything so that you can order and then make these yourself too, okay? And I include the link to my blog post 
in the details above this Facebook Live video too, okay? So I'm trying to make it as user-friendly as possible to get you guys the info that you need to be able to put your orders in. Okay, so here we go. We are gonna do one. Okay, so we've got our one minute you're young and cool, and the next you're getting excited over new towels. <laughs> I love that. Okay, so we're gonna put these little guys down on here. Okay. Okay, we're gonna just crank that right through. And I'm gonna leave my fresh freezer ones on there and we're gonna run those through again. They have been cutting well, but I thought, you know what? Since I have to cut another one of these white, right? We've got that one. I'm gonna flip that around and I just need a plain one. Might as well cut it again, make sure. It cuts all the way through, okay? This is just, I love, like the little scallops on there, just so cute, right? Okay, and then we've got these little buddies right here that are gonna just pop right, oops, that one's still in there, but I bet, there we go. <laughs> there it is, right, we got that one. And then this one will kind of pop right out. There we go, okay, good. So we got both of those, we're all set, okay. I'm gonna scoop this stuff out of the way. Okay, so you can see, simple, right? And now we can have our fun putting our card together. Okay, I know I'm gonna need this little buddy. I've got my adhesive. Okay, so let's start. We are going to put some adhesive on the back of our designer series paper. I knew that was gonna happen. I could see the red. Ooh, that didn't last very long at all. So I, I, I've I, realized like last night when I was setting up, so I'm all prepared. You guys saw how easy that was too, right? Just open it up, pull your old one out that's all used, those little tabs right there, just fit. Come on, Aim, there you go, right on there. Hello, Debbie, how are you? Thanks for sharing. And then that pops right back on there, right? Okay, so we're gonna run it and tip it back. Run it, tip it back, run it, tip it back, okay? What I didn't do and I probably should have is kind of clean off. Things tend to get a little extra gummy. So a lot of times I'll just put it right there because I'm going to, um, oops, put this one on next. Run it, tip it back, okay? This one is important because I keep looking at my other card thinking it, it looks like it's a little bit off kilter and I'm sure it's because maybe I didn't get that quite perfectly lined up and so when I open it I'm always like oh there's something funny about that okay maybe this is the one I didn't score I got two of them here yep here's the one okay so I scored it at four and an eight inches okay so it's gonna lay like this and then where's my score mark right here okay then we're gonna flip it hmm I so you have to be careful you can't score too hard because you don't want to like rip through your designer series paper but I might have been a little extra 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 careful <laughs> there we go okay because I couldn't find them couldn't find those very well but okay so there we're going to do that like that so we're going to just add some adhesive right on the back of this piece right here I don't know if I got enough there right okay and then this thing is going to go on there okay all right so press that down firmly okay we're gonna put this little baby right on the inside here okay and i didn't pop it up on dimensionals because um it's on the inside of the card okay so we're gonna add that in right there close that up then i did put this little guy i'm gonna put some dimensionals on this one or behind our sentiment i should say lily's here Hi, Lily. Did you already go to the store? No, I have not been to the store. Do you want to go to the store? Yeah, I'm right now. <laughs> you are right now? Yeah, but why are you asking me to do this? Oh, because you bought the wrong kind, remember? <laughs> okay, yeah, you're going right now, huh? Okay, mm hmm. Thanks, Lily. I'll text you or text me if you have any questions. How about that, huh? You can answer. Why not? Oh, no, text me and I'll answer when I'm done. I'm almost done on Facebook Live, right? Okay, so we're just adding a little bit of adhesive to these little guys. I love to use my little silicone craft sheet. That's what it's for, to kind of be able to add adhesive and not get it all over your little work grid paper, right? 
I'm gonna put that one, maybe we'll do that one right there, right? Next, so you know we always have to add. So I was like, okay, that's cute, but we gotta keep going. We gotta add a little bit more. So I have my uh, pale papaya ribbon here. This is another one. They've kind of tricked us a lot of years. Um, I don't know, you just never know, but these ribbons may retire. The, like last year, they retired the in-color ribbon that these colors aren't retiring, but they did retire the ribbon. So you just never know. But this has been some of my favorite ribbon because it's so easy to work with. Um, there we go. So get this ribbon in all five of our in colors. If you love it, just in case, it goes on the retiring list. Okay, mm, I forgot my glue dots. How did I do that? Okay, we're gonna just add a little bit of adhesive then and just pop that bow right on there. Oh, that worked. Okay. Then what else do we need? We need, oh, some gems, of course. We need some gems. So I've got, I just love to show you guys how kind of I package things too or keep them. You can see I got a couple of packs of these. So I definitely use, need to use some more of the fresh freesia, um, those little dots. At this time, I want to use the pale papaya dots though. So here, these are all the ink colors that again, possibly this ribbon could be retiring. So um, the pink, the um, the Pale Papaya, Evening Evergreen, Fresh Freesia, Soft Succulent, Polished Pink. That's what it is, Polished Pink. So yeah, if you love the ribbon, potentially these could be retiring too. I don't know. We'll know for sure next week. Um, okay, so let's see. I don't need any of those. Just put those back in there. Okay, so we are going to use our little, our Pale Papaya dots. I just had to add a little bit of bling around. Oops, I thought I had that one on my but I did not. Okay, we're gonna use that one right there. And then one more, where did it go? There it is, we're gonna pop that one. Oops, <laughs> so it was upside down. Okay, this is supposed to be made to look easy, but I'm not, I am failing miserably, right? And we got that one right there. Okay, so there we go, card number one. One minute you're young and cool, then and the next you're getting excited over new towels. Happy birthday. <laughs> I just think that is so cute. Such a funny sentiment, right? I know you probably have a friend who would appreciate that card, right? Okay, so there is card number one. And let's see. Let's get that out of the way. We're gonna need this stuff in a sec. Again, inspired by Sharon's swap card that she made. Okay, card number two. Right now I'm trying to get everything situated, kind of. Okay, so here is our next card. <clears throat> We've got another little happy birthday, and then it flips open, and I love this. The five stars would recommend you as a friend. I just think that is so cute. Again, inspired by Miss Jenny Boffsman's uh, swap that she made the other day, right? So I made it a little bit bigger, but you get kind of the idea there, right? Okay, um, I also used the Your Biggest Fan stamp set with the Happy Birthday. I thought that worked pretty well, um, especially with the font on that stamp on the inside too. Okay, so another great stamp set if you don't have that one yet. That one's gonna be around for a little bit though because um, that is in our uh, mini catalog. Okay, so here we go. Getting our things up that we need. Let me tell you about dimensions on this one. This is another one where we just start with the a piece of this is like a half a sheet right let me scoot that up out of there right so this would be like a half a sheet of our balmy blue cardstock so we cut the full sheet at 11 we cut it at five and a half inches then we cut it again at four and a quarter inches so we end up with a four and a quarter by five and a half inch piece just like that right there four and a quarter by five and a half inch piece of cardstock Scoot that there, right? And then we have our designer series paper that's gonna lay light on the right on the front again that measures four inches by five and a quarter inches. So that's gonna go right there. Another piece of the balmy blue cardstock that measures two and three quarters by eight and a half and then scored at four and a quarter. That just folds in half and then goes right there. Okay. And then we have, oops, this goes on the outside. Designer Series Paper, the Sweet as a Peach Designer Series Paper, again, will be retiring, I'm sure, uh, two and a half by four inches, and then the basic white on the inside also 
two and a half by four inches. Again, all the measurements, all the colors, all the item codes of everything that you need to order will be on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com after I get everything uploaded. And then I just have some kind of scrap pieces of Calypso Coral, Basic White, and Balmy Blue to do our stamping and our die cutting, okay? All right, so let's do that. And then I'll show you what's gonna happen next. Okay, so we gotta do that die cutting, so it's only that one stamp. Okay, so we need our Calypso Coral too, okay. And here we go. <laughs> our Balmy Blue card, so, or uh, ink pad, okay? Right, so we've got the Happy Birthday, I'm gonna tap, 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 nice and easy. Nice and easy. I don't think I got the H in the happy. That's the beauty of our, geez. Okay, I don't like that either. And I'm gonna need some more white cards. I didn't bring, okay, let's try it. I feel like, what am I doing wrong? There we go. Okay, so we got that one. Um, and then we've got another, we need to do the, would recommend you to a friend. I wonder if I can get that. <laughs> We're going to see if I can get this. Put that maybe right there. We'll see if I can still, it might work, right? Okay. So we've got, that's all the stamping that we need to do. Okay. So simple stamping again. Okay. And then we just have to do a bunch of die cutting. So let's do that. I'm going to grab my die cutting machine, okay, and we'll see if we can get this <laughs> done or not. Okay, can you guys, you guys can kind of see what's going on here, right? Okay, so I want to show you, we have, these are the Give It A Whirl dies. So you can see we've got a couple of hearts, a little label, and then some fun little arrows and things. We are gonna use all of these little babies these are all the other ones that we need. We're just gonna lay those right on there, okay? So a bunch of cute, and it's actually meant to like be like a, you know, like a spinny wheel card. I haven't done that yet, but the stitching and all the fun um, little details on these, I've had lots of fun with those. Okay, so we're gonna put this little label right there. This circle goes right there. And then this one, we need that and we need this in the blue. Oh, I see, we need another circle in a sec, okay. So you know what, I think I'm gonna do that one next. Okay, so we're gonna do our circle on there, our heart on <laughs> that one, and then there's that one and that one. Okay, so we're gonna need another blue circle. So I'm gonna have to run it again anyway. So since that white paper is kind of being futzy, we'll do the other sentiment in a sec. Okay. All right, so we've got our little Calypso Coral. Isn't that so cute? This love the little stitching on there. Okay, so we're done with that one. We're done with that one. This was interesting too. Now this one, so it cuts out this piece and this piece. I just put them back together when I put them on my card, but you could have two separate little guys there also, okay? Then we've got our circle for our happy birthday. And then our other teeny tiny little balmy blue heart right there, okay? So now we need another balmy blue circle. And then where did that little label? Oh, right here, okay. So now we're gonna try this. It kept, it was like winging around, so you gotta move the paper so it stays in place. But okay, I think we're good, there we go. <clears throat> okay, save the day on that one with the basic white cardstock, huh? <laughs> okay and isn't that kind of cool too it, it leaves the stitching around there so you could have like some fun with the the extra piece also right if you needed that okay and then another one too same idea this one's got the stitching around there and then there's our little five stars would recommend you as a friend <laughs> so cute okay I think we have all of our die cutting done okay so let's put this one together. Okay, we'll just put all of that right on there. Okay, so we're gonna add our designer series paper, the sweet as a peach designer series paper. Beautiful paper, again, most likely retiring. Um, 
next, well, the list will come out next week, okay? Then we've got this piece that we're gonna run. You wanna put a bunch of adhesive on this thing because it's essentially like a card um, that you're gonna kind of flip open and closed. I need my glasses on. Let's do that so we can try to get things lined up. Okay, so you wanna have about the same amount of paper showing on either of these sides, right? So we've got that there. Okay, I think that looks good. Then we are gonna add our designer series paper and I'm just gonna do the basic white also. You see how I'm running it and tipping it back. Oh, Debbie, you're down in Tennessee, that's fun. Are you um, vacationing? It's always nice to get away, isn't it, huh? Okay, and then our designer series paper, such pretty paper, right? Like I love those stripes. That'd be great for um, like a baby card too, I think. Okay, so then we've got all these little pieces here. Okay, and our heart, yep, okay. So this is one where you definitely want your little silicone mat because you're just trying to put adhesive around kind of the edges of that. And then of course you're gonna get it stuck all over your fingers too, right? So we're gonna put this one down. On there, and I'm not pressing too hard in case I don't like where I have it, but I think it should be good, right? Side to side looks good, okay? And then we've got our, would recommend you to a friend. Ha ha ha, so cute. Okay, there's the inside, and then we're gonna pop these little circles up on dimensionals. So let's see, I'm gonna put two on the blue, and then I need to be a little bit strategic about the white one. Okay, so we've got this one right here. And then I want to put one dimensional. So when I say I want to be strategic, I want to put one kind of down in the corner there. And then I'm going to add some adhesive behind this one because I don't like it when things are janky, like I want them to be the same height. So I don't want to put a dimensional on this side because it's already layering on something that has a dimensional on it. So I think that'll be good. Okay, and then we're going to add, oops, a little, those, I must have something sticky on my finger. I'm gonna add our hearts to our project. So we're gonna put that one there and that one there and then the ribbon. Okay, so this is a combo pack of ribbon. Hi, Becky, how are you? Thanks for joining us. So we've got, this is Petal Pink Ribbon and Misty Moonlight Ribbon, a cotton ribbon. I haven't even opened this particular package of my Misty Moonlight Ribbon yet. I'm gonna have to do that, because that will be retiring, because Misty Moonlight's another color that will retire shortly. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna just pull that, make a cute little bow with it. Okay, where are my scissors? Let's grab those. And I need another glue dot that I don't have, so we're gonna just kind of try to carefully add a little bit of adhesive right there for our bow. Okay, and then last step is to add a few of the beautiful rhinestone wave basic jewels. And I found, I thought this row right here looked like balmy blue, so kind of the third row over is what I was liking for balmy blue. Okay, we got that one. We're gonna do that one right there. And then one more. I think I'm gonna put it on the heart. Oops. <laughs> and then one more on the little heart right there. And there we go. Okay, so there is card number two, ladies. The happy birthday. Five stars. Would recommend you as a friend. So cute, huh? So such a fun stamp set, this brag-worthy stamp set. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed that too. Just so many cute, silly sentiments. You just make someone laugh and smile, I think, if you send them that card, right? Okay, so as always, the quick recap if you put an online order in through me, you are gonna get one of each of these projects that I just demonstrated sent to you as a thank you for your order. Make sure you use the host code, the MQPTVPRB. Order over $50 and you get to pick from the Enamel Design Dream Team PDF tutorial 
or the rhinestone jewels, right? Plus you get a free celebration item, plus you get your name in the drawing for the back on your feet stamp set. So thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you being here, hanging out with me, watching later. If you can't catch it on the live, commenting, sharing. Thank you so much. And ordering. Love your orders too. So thank you guys. Have a great weekend. Happy St. Patrick's, belated St. Patrick's Day. We'll see you guys soon. Thanks guys. Thanks, Philomena. Bye.